bowl. I'm going to adjust some lighting here so that we look snazzy on Facebook Live and that I don't look parched. I don't know, even know what parched means. <laughs> uh, good morning. This is Art Talk on Facebook Live. Uh, good morning, Jerry Crocker, first man in the house. Always, Jerry. Do you have an alert that goes off? I don't know. You're, you're always the first guy in. Uh, congratulations. Good to see you. Uh, although not too good to see your mask. Your mask was very creepy at Muscles and Mojo uh, over the weekend. Uh, got my notes. Got everything I need here. Johnny, what's up? Thanks for joining us on today's Our Talk. I got some good stuff going on. We got some shows happening. Uh, the rest of the country and uh, certain parts of the country are freaking out. Not here. Not us in uh, Southern California. We're just plugging away. Uh, Robert Smith, good morning. Welcome to Art Talk. Uh, today's Monday, and it's August uh, August 3rd. The reason I know that is because something really special is happening tomorrow. Yeah, and uh, not special. It's been happening for the last 30 years or whatever it is. It's our anniversary tomorrow. <laughs> I had to remind Kathy, and because uh, we both forgot last year. We both forgot. So uh, MC Ken Bella, great job by MC Ken Vela yesterday at Muscles and Mojo, a fabulous job. And uh, we had a really good time. Uh, we're gonna give an update into that. Uh, good morning, uh, Johnny, good to see you. So um, uh, this is Art Talk. We do this live uh, every Monday on Facebook Live and then it gets recorded, which is getting recorded right now and goes up on YouTube. So the whole point of our, you can't come in right now. The whole point of, uh, the dog is scratching on the door. Uh, of our talk is to help you guys be creatively powerful, creatively strong, and uh, stronger than we normally are. Okay, one second. Come on, let's go. Get in there. She's so insistent. She's so, she's like Kathy, so insistent. Uh, Lance Rhodes, good morning, welcome. And... Um, so, uh, Muscles and Mojo, a great, great show. If you get, get a chance, check out the vlog we shot, uh, uh, episode 994 uh, for Muscles and, uh, Muscles and Mojo. It features the um, best of show, lots of the great rides there. Uh, we certainly, uh, it was just, what a spectacular day. Everyone was in good spirits. And, uh, um, I, I, you know, I don't know what to say other than it was uh, quite extraordinary to see everybody and to give uh, virtual hugs, hello, and uh, and and have a good time. Everyone wore their masks. Uh, everyone was safe. People that did not want to touch didn't. People that wanted to touch did, and uh, it was just really good. So uh, we are expanding on that on that idea. If you've watched the vlog, you already know this. If you did have not watched the vlog today, good morning, Don, uh, Loretta. Good morning. Good to see you guys. Uh, Muscles and Mojo is going to be expanding to Muscles and Mojo and the Vintage Market. And I have a meeting tomorrow to uh, to uh, kind of figure out exactly what that means with David and a couple of people. And then we're going to uh, uh, we're going to reveal what's going on. It's gonna be an all day thing. Instead of just two hours in the morning, it's gonna be two hour car show and then it's gonna be Vintage Market. Then it's gonna, uh, it's just gonna evolve into something really cool. Uh, a lot of cool stuff. Uh, as as some of you may know and or may not know, uh, Justin Hollingsworth is in the house. He didn't know that. <laughs> Good morning, Justin. Um, uh, the next show up for bid is the Fountain Valley Car Show uh, that is being run by MC Ken Vela and Pete Hawk. Uh, Going to be an incredible show, August 29th. I'll be there. Uh, Johnny is a grand marshal for that show, and uh, we'll have a bunch of other celebrities uh, hanging out with us and uh, just enjoying ourselves. And we're gonna we're gonna do it safely, you know, uh, as uh, as we are um, uh, working to do with everything else. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. We'll be getting into more into that uh, with the vlog and with uh, uh, our marketing campaign, a lot of stuff. Uh, there's the website. Uh, thanks, Ken, for putting that up. And uh, Rick White, Ricardo Blanqui, Blanco is in the house. Uh, uh, good to see your doggy at uh, Muscle Mojo. What a cute dog. Uh, we, I think we had probably five or six dogs at the show. Uh, always great as long as they're not, you know, fighting each other. You know, uh, they're they're... In really good spirits. Uh, uh, today's subject for our talk, which we're going to get into moment, momentarily, how to uh, um, how to avoid distraction in order to succeed. How, how to avoid distraction in order to stay on course. Uh, distraction is um, 
is our number one vice. Uh, that's what's going on in the world. Uh, you want to stay focused. You want to move forward. And then you get pulled this way like a piece of gum. And then this way, you know. And it's it's difficult to be able to move forward. So we're going to get into that. I'm going to solve that problem for you guys from a creative standpoint. How to be able to, to move forward, stay uh, productive, stay creative, uh, stay uh, looking at what you want for your life from the highest possible uh, elevation and succeed uh, in, in whatever and however you define that. Mike Levy, thanks for joining us. Who else we got? Bill Karen, Nigel Brunt, Stephen Ball. Good to see you guys. Thanks for joining us on, on Art Talk. We do this every weekday morning, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time from Malibu, California. And we're live on Facebook right now. So anything that happens, it happens in real time. Like the dogs coming in and interrupting my show here. Uh, what's up, Carol? Good to see you, sweetheart. Uh, you know that uh, if you if you saw the vlogging uh, or or went to Muscles and Mojo, you saw that Kathy is doing her masks. Uh, in, incredible handmade masks. She, she just had a uh, epiphany and she said, you know what? I'm going to create. If, if people wear masks, why not wear some cool stuff? So she made lace masks and woodies and all kinds of stuff. Uh, and if you're interested in seeing the line of stuff that she's done, it's all at fireballtim.com. And uh, you can go over there and click on face masks and it'll show you all the stuff. Uh, you can order them very easy uh, through Venmo or PayPal, credit card or, you know, however it works, whatever works best for you guys. The next, uh, uh, the next coloring book that we're working on, I've already started, is Station Wagons. It's a little bit bright. I don't know why it's so bright there. There we go. Uh, that's a, a 1959 uh, Pontiac Bonneville Safari hanging out in the in the space uh, space time continuum. It's going to be doing two sketches today. Very excited about that book. The Tony Dow book is out, uh, doing extremely well. Holy crap! Uh, incredibly well. Very excited. And uh, and then this week I'm swapping the Mazda Six, which I'm driving now, for a Dodge. No, a Ram can't say Dodge, for the Ram truck, the Eco Diesel, that's going to be coming in, uh, and we're going to have a good time with that. And the upcoming shows, obviously, uh, Muscles and Mojo, the Buellton Vintage Trailer Show is also coming in September. Uh, we're getting ready for that, and uh, of course, Fountain Valley, which I just mentioned. So let's get into today's Art Talk, Fatal, Fat Al, Fat -t Al, good to see you, what's up, uh, joining uh, uh, into the uh, into the stratosphere, George Mayer. Good to see you, Mark Green. What's up, Mark? Mark's going to be doing a great interview with Tony Dow uh, pretty soon. Uh, looking forward to that. So, you know, how do we uh, avoid distraction in order to stay on course in our life? You know, and that's that's the challenge: is that that we're constantly being pulled, and and I certainly experienced it at Muscles and Mojo yesterday. Is that uh, you're, you you got to go solve uh, this particular problem, and then all of a sudden uh, something pulls you this way, something pulls you that way, and it's it's uh, uh, it's not so much multitasking because that's an action, that's a physical action. It's a mental process, uh, and we have to understand that all of our actions, the impetus for all of our actions, are in the way we think. In the and uh, our thoughts lead to our words, and our words lead to our actions, and many people may have thoughts that betray them. They may have words that betray them, but their actions speak volumes. And Kathy's a, a bit that way. So Kathy's thoughts can be uh, challenged sometimes. She didn't have a, a great upbringing, not a great uh, a set of parents. So, you know, a lot of times she'll have, uh, her faith will be, you know, not as strong uh, for certain things. And then she'll voice some of those concerns. But then when she goes into action, she's a MF, I can't say it but she's a badass. And uh, as a result of that, you know, she's had a pretty stellar career for the last, uh, I probably shouldn't say that number, you know, uh, a couple of years, a couple of years. Uh, she's done incredibly well in her career and um, uh, achieved a, a great deal of success uh, because of her actions, the strength of her actions. And um, uh, if you can manage to have thoughts that don't betray you, thoughts that uh, stay strong, and uh, affirmations that are about um, not only achieving greatness for yourselves, but achieving greatness for others, and that your words uh, are not words of doubt and fear and anxiety, which uh, uh, if you went to Muscles and Mojo, you, could, you can kind of tell the way people are experiencing COVID right now because someone will come up and say, that's fine, you know, and someone will come up and say, don't touch me, right? And then there's people that don't show up at all. 
right? So that uh, fear is really the thing that is is um, uh, kind of uh, sinking its teeth subtly into a lot of these things. And in my personal opinion, uh, the true virus is not the virus itself. It's the fear that, that causes a lot of that stuff. Uh, Valerie, what's up? Happy Monday, my friend. It was fantastic seeing you yesterday at such a fabulous event. I am so grateful that uh, you joined us, Valerie, and um, and your husband, Brad. Uh, Brad got to drive the um, ride, the the boss hoss, the, the ridiculous, most ridiculous motorcycle on the planet. It's um, He said it was like uh, doing something with a cow. I don't know what that is. <laughs> uh, we won't get into that, but it was pretty funny. It was pretty funny. Uh, anyway, we, it was great to see you guys, and uh, Kathy enjoyed seeing you guys. Uh, and we're going to do a lot more coming up, a lot more coming up. Uh, so, um, you know, in regards to avoiding distraction, uh, uh, focus is a muscle. Uh, any mental process is a muscle, no different than going to the gym. You go to the gym and you work on your arm and uh, the more you work on it, uh, the, the bigger it gets, the stronger it gets, the more defined it gets, the more efficient it begins to work. And you keep going to the gym, you keep getting uh, this kind of stuff. 1,600 pounds, yeah, exactly, ridiculous. Uh, the, the, your, your thought process, your brain, your mind, your connection with mind, is exactly the same thing. So the more that you affirm certain thoughts, the stronger those thoughts get. And uh, what we don't know is uh, through a lack of awareness, through a lack of, of understanding that as creative people, the power for us, the real power for us is in the present moment because that's where creativity exists, is that you can't, uh, you can't draw a picture and be thinking about something else. Uh, you can't paint a painting, you can't build a car unless you focus, unless you focus. If you're constantly distracted, like you're trying to work on your car and uh, uh, your wife keeps coming in or your son or your kids or, you know, or the raccoon, you know, that you just picked up at the pet store uh, comes over and bites you in the ass. Uh, it's very hard to get your, your stuff done. So um, uh, focus is extremely important and uh, distraction comes in infinite forms. But uh, like I said, focus is a muscle. It needs to be it needs to be constantly worked on. You need to constantly bring yourself back. So if the quickest point between you and your goal, whatever your goal is, uh, it's more money, it's better health, uh, it's more peace of mind, uh, it's you want to start giving more, whatever it is that is over here that you want to get to, the quickest point is a straight line, obviously. Uh, but uh, life doesn't work that way. So sometimes it requires you to, to take Mulholland to get there. If you get my drift, drifting on Mulholland. Hmm. Not recommending that. Yeah, would be fun though, but I'm not recommending that. I've had way too many people that, that did that and it didn't end well. Yeah, I get phone calls later on wondering why the, the back end of their car is missing. <laughs> I kid you not. That's happened many times. Um, uh, the, the other aspect is is understanding uh, your perspective, is getting a very clear perspective about what you want. Now, many people uh, get focused and they, they want to achieve their goal, not realizing that uh, the most efficient way to get to where you want is by giving to others. And some people will say, uh, yeah, I, I, I do give to others. Or, or, you know, there's a lot of variations. Some people say, well, I don't have anything to give to others, right? I don't have any money, so I can't give it, give it out. And, and that's not what we're talking about. We're not talking about giving in the sense of uh, giving uh, uh, nickels and dimes or, or, or giving time. We're talking about giving as a whole, as a much broader scoped picture. And that's what I mean by the perspective is that is uh, having a giving mentality, giving of time, giving of, of resources, giving of, uh, of uh, support, giving of compliments, giving uh, anything in, in the sense that is uh, helping someone to expand uh, or, or to grow in some way, uh, giving people a, a positive experience is giving. And it's important that you stay on that track because the more that you're on that track, the more those people push you forward, the more uh, the better experiences. And that's that same thing. It's a muscle. It's a muscle that you have to keep growing. You have to keep looking at... Um, uh, succeeding and giving as an integral, cohesive part that they work so well together. Now, 
uh, Muscles and Mojo was very successful yesterday, and I have many thanks to give out, and um, uh, hopefully I've given some of those to you. But the, the donuts that some of you ate came from Maureen Magnuson, and they came from Steve Gelman. Uh, those were two people that were not asked to bring in donuts. They, th this is something that they decided to do to make your experience better. Uh, the coffee was provided by the Murphy Museum. Um, and uh, as a result of that, you got to walk around and eat a donut and have coffee and have a good positive experience. But not only uh, did you guys get that, each one of you that came to the show, you brought with you something of value, whether you brought your car, uh, whether you brought your energy, um, you know, Valerie and Brad, you know, you guys showed up in a motorcycle, but, you know, you didn't bring the motorcycle to the show. You brought yourselves. You brought your energy. You brought that positiveness. You brought um, that excitement. And, that, and that's, it's very important that when we go, uh, we go into things, uh, we bring the best of ourselves because if you're in a bad mood or you're having a difficult time, uh, sharing that is not, uh, not conducive to adding growth or expansion to someone's personal experience. And we want to do that. We want to do that in any possible way that we can. It's why we do events the way we do. Um, it's why Ken, uh, MC Ken is so good at what he does. Uh, and, you know, and we want to be grateful for those things. It's important. You can't say thank you enough times. Uh, I believe he said that it weighs four times what his current bite does. <laughs> yeah, it's a fatty. Yeah, it's a beast that uh, anybody who uh, was interested in a Boss Haas motorcycle, uh, we have one at the museum, and I think it's we're selling it for 20 grand, something like that. Um, you're going to have to have some rather good-sized cojones to, to want that bike. Uh, it, uh, like Brad said, I think it's it does better... Um, pulling up to a show and just kind of sitting there as a conversation piece than riding it because it's kind of like riding, somebody said like riding an elephant with, with, with two ropes, uh, something like that. Yeah, I don't remember. Um, so getting the largest perspective for ourselves is key. It's very important to have a very clear perspective uh, as we move forward in this thing called life on this little marble that we're all stuck on, uh, unless you're Elon Musk and you can get into a rock and go explore out there where there isn't much. Uh, we're on this marble together. And how do we make this personal experience the best that it can be? Uh, Bessie, yes, of course. Um, so uh, distractions uh, seek to derail us. Distractions are, are, are there because people are vying for our attention. Uh, the world is vying for our attention. This is where advertising comes in, is that, you know, you, you just driving into downtown, you're going to see, you know, umpteen thousand billboards trying to pull your attention in different ways because obviously we're a monetary society. So if you see their billboard and you say, oh, that's cool, I'm going to buy that when I get back, and you go on Amazon, you buy it, boom, their, their advertising did the job that they wanted it to. Now, if everybody's doing that, then uh, you're spending all your time uh, looking at all this stuff and buying stuff that you don't necessarily know that you need. And you're just conditioned to do that through uh, suggestion and then ultimately through auto-suggestion, which is something that you're feeding to yourself. So uh, ultimately, you know, the way advertising works or the way distractions work is that if you... Uh, uh, advertising works in two ways. If, if you have our product then your life is going to be better somehow, right? You know, it's, it's your, your experience called life is going to flow better. You're going to feel better about yourself. I'll, I'm going to give you 10,000 reasons why uh, your life is going to be better uh, if you have our product. But the second, the conversely, the, the other side to that is potentially that your life is going to suck if you don't have what it is that I'm telling you that you should have, right? And that's the real power. That's the power of fear, Right, and fear in advertising is a very common uh, prospect. Um, so, and, and it's followed by it's you know the rule of nine is followed by pretty much every ad company advertising mentality in the world. If you don't have a, a better house, then your life's not going to be better. If you don't if you don't get a good looking husband or wife, uh, if you don't have kids by thirty, if you don't you know all this stuff is based in fear. Why can't people just fucking leave us alone? Let us let us do what we want to do enjoy ourselves uh, in this thing called life. Um, and it's because it's a monetary society. And if you don't come up with some kind of plan to make money uh, and, and to live this life, then it's a challenge. It's a challenge, right? You won't, But instead of thinking it from the standpoint of getting money, we want to think of it from the standpoint of giving. What is, do we have a value that we can give into the world, into the marketplace, that when people buy it, add something 
a value to their life. This is what we're trying to do with the coloring books is that, you know, you, you buy a coloring book and you draw and you're, you're being uh, cultivated in generating energy in the present moment. And you're bonding as families, as friends, and things like that. And it was very important for us to come up with something that allows you to do that. That's important for you guys to do that the same, is to look at your business. Is how can your business expand and grow and be better if you start to add that element to it? That if someone, if, you know, not, not selling them on the idea that your life's going to be better if you buy our stuff. Or your life's going to suck if you don't buy our stuff. But from the standpoint is, what really does this add to someone's life? How does this make someone's life better if I do this thing? And, and that helps you to avoid, avoid distractions. But like, like I said, it's a muscle. You, you, need to, you need to work out every single day with your ability to not allow distractions to pull you away from where your attention needs to go. Kurt Kluman, thanks for joining us. Bessie the cow has joined us. Just kidding. <laughs> Did I miss anybody? No. I was about to cancel somebody by accident. Uh, as a reminder, oh, hey, good to see you. Uh, this is our talk. We do this every weekday, uh, every Monday, sorry, uh, every Monday here on Facebook Live from Malibu, California, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. It may be a different time where you are, like Joseph Stone's in Australia watching, and uh, it's definitely not 8 a.m. It's like 3 o'clock in the morning there. So uh, this is the battle. Ultimately, I'm going to leave you guys with this. This is the battle that we're in. It's... Um, Faith and focus versus fear and failure. Faith and focus, it's the, it's the F battle with a bunch of F words. Faith and focus. Faith is the, the, um, the strength of your ability to move forward despite the fact that you can't see what, what's coming next. Uh, faith and focus and using focus to be able to maintain course versus fear the anxiety that, that permeates us when we don't know what's going to happen next and we're scared of that uh, and ultimately potentially leading to failure, which is not something that we want. So it's important that we stay on this side of the fence, faith and focus, uh, that as we move forward. Uh, not to say that any, everyone experiences uh, 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 you know, fear and failure. But it's not the failure that is the problem. It's how we perceive that failure. If we grow from that failure, if we look at that failure as a stepping stone to getting to uh, better places, creatively speaking, then we're in good shape. So it's not not to worry. Uh, Ken, send me the artwork for Fountain Valley. Uh, yep. Um, okay, so it's about staying on the train, staying on the train and not, not getting derailed, not jumping off the train, not doing all the things. You know, if you stay on the train, it's a straight line somewhat. Most trains are not straight, but you get my drift uh, to get to where it is that you want to go. So that's how we avoid distraction is that uh, in order to get to where we want to be, uh, we have to learn techniques. We have to understand that there's tips, tools, and tricks uh, to maintain focus is to stay focused and not letting your phone distract you, turn the phone off, uh, not allowing your, uh, uh, your siblings or your husband or wife to... Uh, to come into the office when you're you're working on something and you want to you want to get focused, uh, not uh, distract yourself by suddenly getting on the web and looking at stuff when you should be working on something else. Uh, so uh, it's important to cultivate these things, and as we do that, we will become more powerful, creatively speaking, and uh, and be able to uh, achieve more success for our lives. Okay, uh, that's what I got for you today. Uh, today uh, is art talk. Um, I really appreciate you guys hanging out with how hanging out with us today. Uh, check out the vlog number nine hundred ninety four on YouTube or at fireballtim.com. Of course, we have the masks and the coloring books. If anybody's out there, uh, we got a lot of cool stuff coming out. Uh, we just had did an e blast that kind of reveals the slate for um, uh, for uh, the books. Uh, what's coming in the next the next five books that are coming? Uh, and I think this week we're going to have uh, add a sixth book to that for January. So we'll see how that goes. But I hope you guys have a spectacular day, a wonderful day. It's up to you. Keep your thoughts, your words, and your actions sound, and you'll get to where you're going. All right? Peace, love. We'll see you guys very soon. Mm -hmm.